Yeah, we are. Hey, good morning and welcome to another edition of the Patriot Radio News Hour. You can hear the rivet guns running, and it's time to go to work. This show is brought to you by the Patriot Trading Group. Legal, lawful, constitutional tender. Protect your tomorrows with something that wasn't born yesterday. Call one 800 951 Nine two in place in order. You'll get no arguments, no problems, no lying, no bait and switch, no stealing, no cheating. We basically take all the fun out of the industry. Yep, no surprises here. You can also head out to allamericangold.com, 24-7, 365, and click on the order now button. You know, believe it or not, if you have hard assets put away, you've got something that that you can feel and touch, and only you know where it is. You're in a very, very elite group. The percentages are quite minuscule. So take the time. You owe it to yourself, to your family, and to your peace of mind. I'm joined with the president and CEO of this great company, Joe Jaquint, who uh, lets me sit in every Tuesday and Thursday. I was the founder of this company and retired too young retired at 55 don't ever do it you call people on tuesday morning and go hey you want to play golf and they're like eric i'm halfway to work <laughs> so I'm like, oh, yeah i forgot about that work thing so so they dusted me off little by little i get to do this you know i gotta tell you probably one of the, the greatest days to be alive is today when i saw that trump wants to move the wall <laughs> And put New Mexico on the other side. <laughs> he wants to build the wall on Southern Colorado border. You gotta laugh at that. <laughs> That's a fair trait, right? <laughs> you, you guys take New Mexico, right? And we'll and we'll call it good. I mean, I mean, I get it. It was you know, it was a faux pas, an erg, but uh, nevertheless, it was it's still great radio. It's priceless, you know. <laughs> You know, why, why stop there? Because a lot of people here in, the, in in Phoenix believe that the wall should go north of Tucson. So, you know, why stop there? Wouldn't that be great? You could just start going around. You know, they could might as well we run it up. Want Tucson. Right, they should run it up the California border, you know, kind of swing in, put, uh, you know, San Francisco on the other side, put <laughs> Seattle on the other side. It would be perfect. I mean, why stop there? You can get that done in the second four years. Of course, the great impeachment is going on. I mean, it's just nuts. They uh, behind closed doors and the, the secret meeting. Isn't it something? And the Republicans out there storming the rooms. And you're not supposed to do press conferences. They're not supposed to report on it. But yet the first thing the Dems do when they're done is hold press conferences. I'm going to say this so, right now. This is another reason why you need to have some gold put away. Look, these, these are adults. These are our elected officials. This is this is how they act. Let's have secret meetings and let's not invite the girls to come in to our clubhouse and all that. I mean, this is child stuff. How about we run the country? Can we do that? Isn't that something? How do they get away with this? You I think, mean, seriously. I, you know, women aren't allowed in our clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody knew that. <laughs> At one point, I actually was present for a while of the Hate the Girls Club. <laughs> That all ended all oh, about when I was thirteen. Oh yeah, then it was uh, <laughs> any girl that wanted to cl- into the clubhouse was welcome. <laughs> oh, shout out to Front Porch Brewery, uh, my neighbors they were making headlines. I know they, they, they're they in the paper the here. Paper and Randy and Diane Bolstrom, my neighbors. You know, Bolstrom Cedarstrom. I'm a small investor, but uh, but I run a spot. They said anyone who comes in and mentions the radio. Gets a dollar off a beer. So we had a guy what? come in. Yeah, we had a guy come in and uh, said, I'm looking. I heard it on the radio from Doom and Doomer. <laughs> okay. Anyway, go to Front Porch. P-O-U-R-C-H. It's so popular that Porsche is going to change their name and their spelling to Porusha. But anyway, it's like poor. P-O-U-R. Frontporch.com up here in Happy Valley. Go in. See uh, Randy, Diane, or their son, Trevor. They're all Cedar or Bolstrom's. They're all strums. They're all strums and uh, great, wonderful people. Uh, you ought to see the, the building that he built. It's really something. So ah, so I like that. I like running ads. And then the Cedarstromgroup.com for Lori. 
this is kind of fun. You know, I get to get on to this. You, you just like, plug everything. I'm plugging it. And Pinkerton, pool and landscaping. This is all family, by the way. Cody Pinkerton, which is my oldest daughter's husband. Please do business with him. I don't want them moving <laughs> back in. So <laughs> you can find him on Facebook. If you're in the North Valley, pools, landscaping, get your yard, winter yard in. Uh, Cody's a bull, man. The kid works hard. I got to give it to him. So. And uh, let me see. What else is that? We had any other cheap plugs I can throw in well, here? How about the check-in? In? We have got to do the check-in. check-in. got to do the check-in. If you want to check-in, send us an email. Contact at 1360khnc.com. Uh, yesterday we had Albert from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. He's a podcaster. He says uh, loves uh, PTG, the Patriot Radio News Hour. Also likes the Front Range Hour. Tom in the mountains of Wyoming. Uh, he says that he could get us now 20 miles west of Larimer. That's how far. On the AM signal. On the AM signal. And he, he does a route, I guess, Tom does something, maybe he, he drives a truck, I'm not sure, but he has a route where he go has to go to Colorado Springs quite a bit, and he says uh, our signal goes 20 miles west of Larimer on the I-80 all the way down to Monument, Colorado, which is right down near Colorado Springs. Uh, so he was checking in and, and just, you know, just shows you the power and the coverage area of 1360 for all you advertisers out there. I mean, we've got Wyoming, most of Wyoming covered now. I mean, because between Cheyenne and Larimer, that's most of Wyoming, isn't Everything it? else is cows. Right. <laughs> Got some more check-ins we'll get you when we What get about back. Kansas? You know, are we getting out to Kansas and Nebraska? If you're driving down the road and you're hearing these two idiots on the air, go to contact 1360 and send us an email. Eric Cedars from Joe Jacob will be back. Yeah, welcome back. You're listening to the very best in conservative finance radio. Patriot Radio News Hour. Two decades in the making. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to allow us into it. We try not to waste it. This is the 50th, yes, 50th anniversary of Woodstock. How about that? Wow. It's been 50 years. So they tried to pull it off again. They couldn't get it done. Yeah, they'll never get it done again. They couldn't get it done. Someone will open fire. You know, they never know. So, But remember, don't eat the red licorice. <laughs> Go around. I was at Woodstock, so... They say if everyone who said they were at Woodstock were actually there, there would have been like 50 million people. So, but yeah, I was 10 years old. I hitched, oh, you I, were there. I got in a Volkswagen van, you know, from Berkeley, and I was 10, hanging around New you York. You lost your virginity there. Yeah, yeah, everything happened, so. Played Black Sabbath at 78 speed. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> Backwards. So anyway, that's uh, just a little bit of history. Also today in history, 1945, the United Nations... Officially came into existence as its charter took effect. <laughs> Remember, we used to have uh, the good patriot at all the picnics that had the U.N. flag that you could wipe your feet on. You know, when you really look back at history and how things have changed, you know, I brought this up a couple weeks ago that uh, 1945, Truman was, you know, putting together the United Nations and the Western Alliance. And, he, you know, and Vietnam was cooking. And they paid no attention to Ho Chi Minh who came on to address because they, they had, we had just defeated the Japanese and the Japanese were occupying Vietnam and raping its its resources and all its rice and sending it home. And, of course, when they surrendered, they had to leave Vietnam. So the French weren't there, the Japs were gone, and it was a unified country. And Ho Chi Minh is quoting Thomas Jefferson. And nobody pays attention to it. So instead, Truman focuses on the Western alliance. True, They left Ho Chi Minh alone and... Uh, China becomes communist while all this is going on, and he goes that way. He goes to, goes in the, the communist goes army. With the Chinese. They really drop the ball. It costs us God knows how many American lives and trillions of dollars. They just drop the ball on that. So, And it opened up. You know, the rest is history, as they say. So 1-800-951-0592. Uh, let me see here. Where we're going to go? Business news. They say the Boeing 737 may never fly. Did you see that? I did not see that. May never fly again. Because Boeing had their earnings uh, the other day. They they uh, had a 50% decline in their profits. Of course, that was adjusted. You know, that wasn't actual gap accounting. 
Uh, but their CEO is still saying, hey, we're going to get this plane back in the air before the end of the year. That was still his line in the conference call. No one actually believed it, but it's okay. I guess, again, CEOs can lie all they want. Right? They can say whatever they want. Well, that's just what I think. Doesn't have to have any truth to it at all. Uh, but that, that was just yesterday. Many CEOs become politicians. <laughs> So you look at that, yeah, they were figuring, well, a market analyst said two, three months, you know, would be a disaster. Now, they, their earnings, Joe, you were saying their earnings only fell, I don't know what they were. 50%. 50%, but we're thinking, how much money do they make on planes? I mean, <laughs> per plane. It, it was so funny because there's like, and by the way, all the cost of, to make the planes has been rising. A lot of people now are out saying, hey, you know, Boeing, not only did they know about the problem, but Boeing had been very quietly laying people off you know during the great recession uh and got rid of a lot of the people that would have been hey wait a minute this isn't safe right those are the guys that are first to go right the guys that that are paying them the the backside and and when we want to hell yeah look at we we've got this new plane and they're going to go out and, and fight us and say it's not ready it's not ready let's fire all those guys so now uh, people are speculating that before Boeing's going to get this plane back in the air, if they ever are, they got to hire all these people back. I don't know about the same people, but they got to actually get people that will be like, uh, hey, moron, uh, you don't watch out. This plane's going to crash, you know. Well, this is like a that. government subsidized company. All right, let's let's just face it. It's their government employees. And uh, you talk about over-outsourcing, which is what how it all happened, right? They, they send out these billion dollars a plane a billion dollars oh easy yeah yeah so and then they outsource us to the cheapest bid you know oh i don't know so i mean i remember well how about lockheed martin we want to talk about uh uh, outsourcing lockheed uh they they make the f-16s right Our, our, our our fighter jets they're now moving production of some of the f-16s to india isn't that crazy I mean, how does that make sense? I mean, why well, this is not, and especially with things like that, you're talking about, you know, ultimately, I don't know. I mean, was there ever going to be a world war ever again? Is there any need to send troops anymore? I mean, obviously, you can pull troops out of Syria. Turkey goes, oh, we're going to blow the hell out of him. He's like, yeah, well, how about that? You're not going to get any bread or grain or gas or nothing. You're cut off. You're cut off. And they're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> ceasefire. <laughs> All right, ceasefire. <laughs> So we would always said that the economic wars are the are the wars that I mean, of the if future. You, if you really wanted to attack America, take down Amazon. People would freak out, right? right. Could you imagine all the women out there take the site down? That, you that, mean? Yeah, that, right. I wait a minute. I can't buy my stuff. Yeah. They go nuts. It is crazy. What a business model Bezos created, isn't it? So. Now they got these drones and they're big drones, so I don't know how that's gonna work. That's pretty weird. It's so. real creepy. And you talk about you know these drones obviously to fly them, right? You got to use a little logic here. They got the cameras, right? They've got radar, they've got all this stuff. You talk about the ability to spy on everybody. Same thing with your cell phones. You know, the cell phones, I forget how many of the uh, receptors are in each one of these new phones out there. All of it tracks you everywhere. Well, you guys know every time, oh, how do you get there? I don't know. Plug it into MapQuest, and they know exactly where you are. You're driving down the 101 freeway, and it knows. It knows right where you're at. You want to know it's even weirder? So, you know, when you travel you're traveling on the road and my wife yeah where are we going you know i drive let's take the back roads and she's got her phone on she goes there's a slowdown coming you're on interstate five she goes there's a slowdown coming in i'm like she goes not very long it's only gonna last a little and so the first one i hit i'm like yeah how does she know you know the phone really know that that's up to the second uh updating on the on this map and sure enough you hit a slowdown and it's not very long you go and then she goes yeah there's another one coming up about three or four miles and sure enough, three or four miles, there it is. And I got to thinking, how is that possible? How do they know, how do they know up to the second that I-5 is backed up in Portland? And here's the thing about it. We love that stuff, right? Oh, yeah, well, isn't that great? Isn't it wonderful? It's odd. Yes. But then we never think about the other side of it. 
And now you're talking about, we, we, we've talked about digital currency, blockchain technology. Bitcoin. Let, let me tell you how powerful it is. Blockchain could take everything. We, we always talk about, hey, they're going to track every purchase we ever made. Right, they already do it now. Like your Safeway card, you go to the grocery store, you got your club card, you got that card. Right, every store you go into has got a card because they track everything you've ever bought in that store from all time. Right, they track all this stuff. But with blockchain, they could actually take everything you've ever written, everything you've ever put up into the cloud, any speech you've ever given. In your whole life, they can literally take your whole entire life, not just what you purchased. Everything you've ever written or ever said can be there. Ever said? Ever said. Now, that's the Alexa thing, right? When they're monitoring all monitoring that? Monitoring everything. All your texts and your taxes. Your text, that all goes through one clearinghouse oh, in yeah, Utah. It's, it's all there. Everything goes through one clearinghouse in Utah, so... Back to the traffic, though, it dawned on me how they do it. Okay. The monitoring, the GPS on every telephone, and they know how fast it's going. So think about that for a minute. You got a, you got 500 telephones that all slow down. It's monitoring the speed of the, the phone traveling. And that's the, I, I can't see any other way they can do it, and it's right every time. Every time. Yeah, that makes more sense because I always thought, well, maybe it's in the, 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 the lights on the freeway, but they don't even have it in a place where there's no lights. Yeah, yeah. It's, so you're right. It's got to be there. Yeah, they're monitoring everybody's telephone. Bizarre, isn't it? Because it won't work any other way. So, so creepy. Your, speed, your phone was doing 65 miles an hour. Now there's 500 phones doing three. That's a slowdown. So, boom. You know, you go places. They had the white, the opening of White Castle hamburgers yesterday in Scottsdale. Now it's on Via de Ventura for you local people. Yesterday, guess what? I have to go see my doctor, my knee doctor. I got my cortisone shot. I'm very happy today, very happy. I want to cry, man. I was in pain. It takes forever to see him. So, uh, but he's on Via de Ventura. So I get off the freeway at 11. There's cops and everything, and I'm like, well. What is going on? Is there a baseball game or something? It's to go get a hamburger. It's a hamburger joint. Isn't that amazing? That's how many people from Chicago are here. The to- White Castle. I believe it is the first White Castle west of the Mississippi. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. So don't even go there today either. So Wait a month. A hamburger joint. So but it's a- Isn't that something? <laughs> this is what we've come down to. You have to have police. <laughs> directing traffic off the freeway (laughs) because of a burger joint. I guess I'm just jealous. (laughs) Wouldn't that be great? Now, when that happens to us, right, when we open a a new office somewhere that we got to hire cops. Well, I think you can do it. Ask gold at half price today. (laughs) (laughs) That's not true. (laughs) We're not not doing that special? All right, how about this one? If you listen to this radio program, we are today's special is double your intelligence or no money back. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Bitcoin. Uh, yesterday, uh, is it David Knight? Him on the morning? Yeah, did a, yeah did we a, had David Knight on. I listened to that yesterday. I was pumping iron. Interesting. Life after Google. Um, you know, Google monitors everything. Talk about your cell phone being, you know, tracked how fast Google, it's going. Google, Facebook, Amazon, all the Verizon. You know, there's... We're being spied on. The people spying us are getting spied on by other people that are spying on them who are spying on us or spying by them. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's, 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 but think about Google. You know, nobody really thought anything about this. So you're like, you know, what are all the Google searches that they're tracking? All right, what's this one, Mr. Searstrom? Uh, what happens if I hit my wife in the head with a baseball bat? <laughs> If you're going to murder somebody, right, how to do, it. do not Google search yeah, how to murder somebody. Because right? I mean, they're going to go look they're gonna, now. They're so, going to find out. That's the first thing they grab. They go in, they get your computers, they get your phone, you know, and then they start looking. What have you what been you searching gotta, What have you been doing in here? How about that one? Oh, yeah, we saw but that. I hit the lead. <laughs> it's just the new world we live in. So, yeah. And that's that. You talk about being out there. But now everything you say, I mean. It's you know, all I would there. allow that Alexa thing in, but you're online right now. I got a laptop in front of me. Oh, yeah. It's got a camera on it, all right? I mean, are they watching now? I don't know. 
So if they if they are, they're horrified. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are these two? What guys? is this? Forget about Dumb and Dumber. It's ugly and uglier. Really, I wasn't at Woodstock. <laughs> Speaking of stocks, <laughs> wood stocks, you know, interesting. Stocks I watched, are down today. Yeah, these, these these financial advisors. You know, I never had one, and I had one for a while uh, after we sold the company here, and they had to do some tax planning. What a nightmare. And so I get this advisor. They don't know what to do. I mean, this guy's highly representative, North Scottsdale. Markets drop. They'll never sell. They won't. Never. Your financial advisor won't sell. So now you get an E-Trade account. You write it down. You're like, well, that's enough. You know, the stock they put you in drops 20%, you know, and they put you in, they love these ETFs, and they put you in all these different sectors. And the only thing it does is it, it drops exactly how the market, if the Dow drops 3%, all those drop 3%. On the upside, none of them go up. Right. Dow goes up 5%. You you're like, one. hey, wait a minute. One of the, yeah, so it's just profit proofs your portfolio so you get an e-trade account you know and you pick out a couple of stocks and then what they get hit and you end up doing the same thing selling them at the bottom and you're now looking at the stock market at all-time highs going huh <laughs> how am i losing all this how, money how is it possible listen it's just like when vanguard they, they, they released it was like three or four months ago this huge 12 year study the now doubled nobody's 401k balance went up it's just human nature to get out while the getting's good. <laughs> All right, we'll talk more about that when we get back. Patriot Radio News Hour continues. This is the Phyllis Schlafly Report from Phyllis Schlafly Eagles. Mrs. Schlafly was a courageous and articulate voice for traditional values and common sense for more than 70 years. And now, from the archives of Phyllis Schlafly Eagles, here is Phyllis Schlafly. The United Nations officially began on October 24, 1945, and the globalists would like us to celebrate that anniversary. I think we should celebrate it by teaching the younger generation all the things that are wrong and dangerous about the UN. The UN was supposed to be an agency that kept world peace, but since the UN was started, the world has fought nearly 150 wars, causing over 100 million casualties, 25 in Asia, 13 in Eastern Europe, 23 in the Middle East, 25 in Latin America, and 50 in Africa. The UN spends $20 billion annually and has never been independently audited. The chief danger from the United Nations today is that it keeps trying to impose treaties on the United States, every one of which is an invasion of our sovereignty. For example, the UN Treaty on Women tries to regulate our laws, customs, personal relationships, family education, textbooks, and wages. All this and more would be under the supervision of a committee of 23 so-called experts to monitor our compliance. This U.N. treaty would require us to follow U.N. dictates about all forms of education, revision of textbooks, and teaching methods. The U.N. treaty on the law of the sea is really global socialism and world government. It would invade our sovereignty by locking us into a global organization dominated by third world dictators who hate and envy America. And the U.S. would have only one vote out of 180 votes, the same vote as Castro. Ronald Reagan understood how un-American and foolish is the Law of the Sea Treaty. One of his first acts as president was to refuse to sign it. I suggest we all stand with Ronald Reagan and urge our senators to vote no any time the Law of the Sea Treaty comes up in the U.S. Senate. This has been the Phyllis Schlafly Report from Phyllis Schlafly Eagles. It's no secret that globalists are bent on destroying Western culture. Whether the threat comes from inside or outside our borders, America must be protected from cultural Marxism and those who would deny American sovereignty. We're seeking your insight at phyllisschlafly.com. That's phyllisschlafly.com. And join us again for the Phyllis Schlafly Report. He was backwards, backwards, use words like no sir, yes ma'am, by God be done. Yeah, I love this song, still plays, break music. We, uh, 
put that song on in 1996, I think, first radio show for Bump Music. Hey, welcome back. Listen to Patriot Radio News Hour, allamericangold.com. Don't forget, people listening on AM stations locally here. You can also, uh, this show plays again at 1360khnc.com. Conservative programming up and down the dial 24-7, 365. So you can flip over there as well. We appreciate all the people listening on their AM signal. Signal going up to uh, uh, up to Wyoming. Uh, I want to see also if it's getting out to uh, Nebraska. So if you're driving or if you get it or if you know or if you've heard it, uh, email contact at 1360.com. Is that 1360 it? 1360KHNC.com. Contact. Contact. Remember that, remember that movie with Jodie Foster, Contact? You ever see it? The, uh, you know, the... Uh, the Alien. The Alien. It's a yeah. great movie. It was a great movie. So, last night I cooked dinner for, oh, for right. the missus. She had a late listing appointment, so I got I, I inherited a green egg from my brother when he passed away. And you know these are I know all you guys have Traegers and everyone is called you know Traegers, but the green egg you know it's a it was this way overpriced you know. Re- well, you know they got popular when they started doing on TV the barbecue competitions, right? Right, Myron Mixon and and Johnny Trigg, and, and and you're watching them and they they had those eggs and you're like I gotta get one of those. Right. Well, when I got this one, I mean I just. Burnt everything. Oh, you were so bad at it. Horrible, horrible. It was hilarious. You know, and you're like, I don't like, get. you want to come over to dinner? And I'm like, no. no. Nobody wants. And, and everybody gets smokers. They always over smoke. You know. So you got all these wood chips in and everything. By the time the thing comes out, you take one bite. You know, you can you taste smoke for the next month. <laughs> It's like in your nostrils. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just so. So I've learned. You know, it took me a long time. I almost, you know, gave it away, but. I actually got pretty good at it now, and uh, last night I had a flank roast and and uh, smoked it, and so I, you know, it's 70 degrees. We in Arizona, you go out. It's June. Ah, oh, yeah, 100, 110. Is it bad? July, it's starting to get 115. A lot. All right, August. Yeah, I'm not going outside anymore. <laughs> Anything over like five percent humidity, it becomes right. totally Just unbearable. Miserable, miserable here now. Lakes, golf courses everywhere. I mean, the town's huge. Cement yeah, it's everywhere. Huge heat island. So, you know, now it's September. You're still not going outside. You, you can't. You know, yeah, I hate this place. So, but now, you know, last night, 70 degrees. So, so, nice. so I'm like, you know, and clean off the patio furniture. I got, you know, dinner on the smoker. I'm going to, you know, going to have candlelit dinner, 75 degrees on the patio. And I'm moving around all the patio furniture. You know, all, the, all your wives do it. They have the cushions. you got to get new cushions because the sun eats them up. These cushions got tags on them. You know, they're like huge. And the, and the writing says, do not remove. Do under- not remove like the mattress. And I realize everything's got these giant. My wife didn't remove any of the tags. <laughs> and I realized that I think I might be married to Minnie Pearl. <laughs> Eats one of the tags. Right. Hesho in China. All, yeah, or you remove, go to jail o <laughs> Federal <laughs> offense So I start tearing them off. I'm tired of looking at these tags, but I don't. You think about them, when you look at them, they're very threatening. Of course, they're not for the. They're not for the. Uh, it's so funny. I'm sitting there thinking about my, my stuff. Because we had just replaced our cushions because the sun yeah, eats sun them eats all them up. All. Sure, and you're. They're on there. All of them Women are won't take the tags no. off. They're like, looking around. Well, in today's day and age, you know, you're like, I heard you took the tags off on Alexa. You're in big trouble. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's it. You don't know. Who's it's not. on the blockchain now, Cedar Strong. <laughs> the blockchain. And the whole Bitcoin thing. To be honest with you, I still don't get it. I, I don't. I don't get it. So how does it become so powerful that it gets a ticker bug on CNBC and Fox Business hey, News. Listen, and, like any good money changer, right, wants to be able to try to be anonymous. It's it's just become a trading thing. You know, how about the Norfed guys? Remember those guys? That was a hair before your time. But he he, you could get silver certificates at ten dollar an ounce silver, which was unheard of. You know, because silver was six dollars, five, four. So, but the silver certificates, he was. You know, you could swap these at ten dollar silver. So. You know, he had silver-backed money. He went to jail. He went to jail. But yeah. somehow the Bitcoin guys can get this done. It's just turned into a trading bug, right? That's well, all it is? That's all it is. You and, can't and go it, buy a new Cadillac where, with a Bitcoin. Where, yeah, where Bitcoin gets used is countries like Venezuela, 
where they, they if people had any money, they're, they're going to try to hide it so the regime doesn't come and take it. Uh, North Korea uses it so they can buy, you know, illegal, illicit activity. It's kind of funny because it, it, I, I sit there and I think about all the ridiculousness of the Patriot Act and heaven forbid you actually want to pay cash for something because you may be a criminal, yet Bitcoin, which everybody knows, every Iran, North Korea, Venezuela, I mean, they're all using it, right, to, to hide it. People want to get money out of China and get it away from the government. They try to do it through Bitcoin. It's really like a black market thing. You know, it's interesting because here on 1360KHNC.com, Mark Call, used to, they used to have the little thing that was an Article 1, Section, section 8, section eight or 10, Section 10, one of, 10. of the Constitution that you can't coin money. It used to play here on the network. And uh, you, know, you can't do it. Now, granted, they're offshore. Yeah, so. Section 8 may be something else. So, what's that? <laughs> section 8 housing. Oh, Section 8. Yeah, what is it? I think it's Article 1, Section 10. I forgot more than I uh, I know. So, But you can't, you're not allowed. You know, no individuals. By the way, I think no that's banks. how they're going to take Bitcoin down when they're ready. Yeah, well, when a guy says the, the maven, the Bitcoin maven, Mike Novogratz this morning, warned the digital currencies in for a big drop. But I... Well, it's already dropped. I mean, it's back down below 8,000. It's like 7,000 and falling. Well, they tried to, you know, make it electronic gold, right? That's they show they a gold coin, that right, yes. right, that's in limited supply. Okay, now that's why gold is different than paper money. Okay, you know, when we had gold-backed currency, when you wanted to increase the money supply, it required equipment and helmets. Okay. <laughs> if That's how you did it. You had to go get more gold, get more gold-backed money. So that's what, you know, gives gold its value. There's there's only a finite supply of it out there. And believe it or not, you guys and, and you might want to you could probably argue this point, but if you take all the gold ever mined, and I'm talking jewelry, industrial, dental, <laughs> coinage, everything. From sea to shining Before sea. Before Jesus, after Jesus, whenever all of it. Wherever that's above ground and melted it. Just melted it. Okay, everybody turns it in. Everybody's your rings, your necklaces, any gold <laughs> anywhere, a statue, right. your coins, your gold bars, everything in Fort Knox, everything that China has ever bought or anybody else for that matter. And then you put it into a bar, a gold bar, one, one gold bar. Now, remember, remember when the national debt was dollar bills stacked to the moon and back? And then it was hundred dollars. Now bills, hundreds, and now who now, knows what? Yeah. Even, so probably go to Mars. So you have to think because that's money, okay? So, so you, gold is money. So you got paper money that now goes to the moon and back so many times in, in denominations. It's incalculable. But the gold bar that you made would be a basketball floor, eighty feet high. How about that? For the entire world since the beginning of time. Just something to think about on this 24th day of October 2019 in the year of our Lord. Patriot Radio News Hour. Stay with us. We appreciate it. We'll see you here on the other side of the break. Support the advertisers. Yeah, sure, you betcha. Welcome back. Yeah, first you take the sauna, then you roll in the snow. Patriot Radio News Hour. It's, uh, well, it's an interesting day, interesting times in America and worldwide. I mean, you watch the protests now almost on a daily basis somewhere. And it's 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 the have-nots, for lack of better words. Well, did you see the latest? Now they're saying that 7 in 10 Americans think Civil War's coming. Civil War's coming. And I, I, I'm one of them. Put Listen, me in that category. Put me in the category with you, too. It's definitely coming. And I think by the time we get through this election, you're going to see it. Even the impeachment. I mean, the impeachment, I you know, the... The conservatives, we just pretty much take it. You know, nobody rallied or burnt any cities when Obama got elected, you know, and there wasn't Antifa running around, you know, and armed conservatives. It just what hadn't happened. But, you know, we pretty much just sit and take it. But if this gets out of hand, I don't think we're going to take it. I don't think people much. are going to take it. So, and let's face it, though, the biggest problem is the have nots way outnumber, <laughs> way outnumber. I mean, there's an entire generation that has face tattoos and piercings, okay? Guaranteed, they've given up any job opportunities as a financial advisor or a baker. 
I'd, I'd like to, uh, you know, Your talk to you. Your financial planner shows him got a right. neck tattoo. Yeah. He's got a tattoo over his face. You're like, yeah, um, how's my 401k doing? <laughs> got a so, couple of, of dots around his yeah, eye, you yeah, know? Yeah, I don't think so. So, so yeah, you've pretty much just given up. You have no opportunity ever, ever for prosperity. And the, the numbers are staggering. Just staggering worldwide. Well, and, you, you know, just think about even today. I don't know if you saw it yesterday after the market closed. The Federal Reserve, which we talked about the repo windows open and this, and, and they're they're buying back QE, started again, just don't call it QE. I did see that. They, now, yeah. they, they, they were at first, you know, go back. This was only two months ago. They didn't even think they had a problem. And then one day, oh, no, interest rates shot up to 10%. And they, oh, special operation, and, and we'll let you know tomorrow if we do it again. And then they said, well, we're going to do it till October 10th and, and make it $75 billion a day. And then they said, no, wait, you know what, did we say October 10th? Oh, we meant January 10th. And then they said, you know, we're just going to do it. And then yesterday, out of nowhere, apparently $75 billion a day is not enough. Now it's a hundred and twenty-five billion dollars a day. Plus they got this other special thing that's now forty-five billion. Plus this other special thing and that special thing. And these and are all the repo bonds. These are the guys. This is all U.S. Treasury stuff. All of. Oh, I don't want to say all of it, but most of it. Yeah, ninety, eighty, eighty-five, ninety percent of the stuff being sent to the Fed, U.S. Treasuries, because nobody wants them and we've got too many and the banks are like we can't loan any more money out right we we can't make we we, we can't even you know if, if if apple wants to pay all their people today we we got to have some liquidity here i remember you and me doing radio shows well you and i correct uh doing radio shows that reading the banks that were going under and they would say they're they they can they always consider a loan debt they consider it an asset an asset it's correct. all backwards yes it's backwards of what you think so so if they loan you money, that's their asset. Now, if you loan your brother-in-law money, that's not an asset. That's not, <laughs> I mean, you pretty much know that that's on the other side of the call. All you business owners right. know. <laughs> Those aren't assets. I found out, though, when I retired, and, you know, if people ask you for money, your kids ask you for money, here's what I think. They have this problem, that uh, you just hand them a list of people that already owe you money and say, anything you collect, I'll split with you. <laughs> <laughs> it works perfect. They go, oh, okay. So, yeah, he's never got any money back. You know, we did ask a question through all the manipulation, and I and this is something Joe and I studied at infinitum, that uh, what happens if the markets decide to go the opposite way of the central bankers? So, in other words, they're raising rates, but yet the dollar trying to hold the dollar together, but the dollar can't hold together because it's so debt laden. And what about if they lower rates, and then the banks are going, we can't make it, and we have to raise rates. So here you have all this conflicting information, and you got repo rates and Fed windows, and the banks need all this money. But a strange thing is happening: mortgage rates rose for a second straight week. Pushing borrowing costs for home buyers to the highest level in three months after not one but two interest rate cuts and one more coming. One and, more and, coming. And, and you know what's funny? Existing home sales was bad. Today we got new home sales uh, down. Right after this, you know, interest rates fell, sales started to spike. Now the rates are going the other way, and it stopped again. Isn't that weird? So how can you have really weird? And you know what you're not seeing either. You're not seeing another thing. This is another thing from the banks. That GM is not, and Ford and Chrysler are not doing their normal zero percent financing. Where is it? It's not out there. They're just instead they're seventeen percent off. I saw seventeen percent off on a Tahoe or something. I mean, you know, it's still it's, you know it's like getting twenty grand off or something. They're so expensive. Well, not that much, but ten, twelve grand anyway. So, so anyway, mortgage rates up uh, three seven up three seven five from three six nine last week. So. That has got to be a head scratcher for the Federal Reserve. Anybody looking all, at this? All the unintended consequences now of all of their actions, and I don't think they can stop it. 
I, I, I'm telling you right now, we haven't seen uh, the end. The, the Fed window, we're going to see it probably every 30 to 60 days. Oh, wait, we got to raise it again. We got to raise it again. We've got to raise it again. And, and we're just drowning in it. You saw we had durable goods out today. Business investment collapsing, right? Because these businesses are doing the same thing. Hey, wait a minute. We should be able to borrow at less. And they go and they make the call to the bank. Hey, we got all this. Extra. We want to refi all this stuff we got. We need some money. Uh, wait a minute. That's more than what I got now. And that's exactly what's happening. They, they can't borrow the money for what they think they can. What percentage, though, do you attribute the uh, the political mess of this country where the The country is so polarized, talking about heading into civil war, that people are starting to stop and look around a little bit and maybe hanging on before making purchases. uh, Which way is it going to go? Which way is it going to go? So, well, you never know. Especially with this show. We could go anywhere. We're famous for that. But you're listening to the Patriot Radio News Hour, brought to you by Patriot Trading Group and allamericangold.com, 1360khnc.com. Eric Segerstrom sitting in with Joe Jaquin, as I do every Tuesday and Thursday. Final segment coming up. Stay with us. Thank you. Steve Miller, Fly Like an Eagle album, 1976. Nobody leaves during Steve Miller, so sit down and relax. <laughs> Long joke. University of Pennsylvania yesterday canceled a plan event on immigration. After hundreds of snowflake students protested an appearance from the acting director of Immigrations and Customs Enforcement, the school shut down an event on campus Wednesday at Perry World House called Detention and Deportation from Obama to Trump, which was described as a frank conversation between ICE acting director Thomas Homan and two others on recent policy changes and what's next for detention and deportation in the United States. Over 400 students signed a petition to the school protesting Onan's appearance over the agency's policies before the event could take place. How did we let these kids get any type of power like this? They don't know anything yet. Why don't you go and listen and get educated? Yeah, you Isn't think that what you're there for? They wouldn't for? even let them, right? right? Don't even circulate the petition. Right. We don't want to hear about we it. We don't want to hear what you think. There has to be someone right. who wants to pay attention. Where's the adults in the room? By the way, you kids all getting computer degrees might want to be interested on how many people from India are coming in because those are the people you're going to have to underbid for the job. You may want to pay attention to immigration for the future, don't you think? It's crazy. Crazy. So, yeah, I don't know. The uh, inmates are running the asylum. So, you know, speaking of that, the... uh, Representative Berm says the Dem- Democrats impeachment inquiry is a hatchet job. I just reading this because I believe in a Democrats hatchet job against President Trump and its proceedings must be put out in the public, said Representative Bradley Byron of the GOP representatives who entered the closed door hearing in protest today. We had a press conference to call attention to the fact that there were these secret proceedings going on and we weren't privy to. And I mean, it is amazing. Why is this not on? CNN, Fox. I mean, this has got it's got ramifications that go on forever and ever, economically, financially, physically, spiritually, morally. The direction of the country is held in the balance right now, and yet it's being manipulated by a few select people behind closed doors. The country will riot. Make no mistake about it. They come walking out the door going, we're impeaching the president. Without a hearing, without anything, do you have any idea? And we could be literally minutes or hours away from this. Or will you just sit there and go, eh, okay. No, there's going to be rallies in every downtown, every one, by 5 o'clock. Make America great again is how many strong? How many millions strong? Probably 100 million. Probably. Probably. All of that. 800 Nine five one zero five nine two. That is our toll free number. Uh, the Dow's down about sixty points on on the durable goods number. Even the Fed and all the money they can print. There's only twenty nineteens. They're super slow coming in. I got half dollars on their way already. They're in route here. Tell you what I'll do. 
I'm going to run those half dollars. I ran them at 140 bucks a roll like 40 cents ago. I'll do it one more time. Today, today only. Half dollar rolls at 140 bucks. 800-951-0592. Patriot Radio News Hour. Tomorrow's Friday. Make sure you tune in.